Samurai life rule number 20, second to last. A samurai is not discouraged by unfavorable odds. So again, we can think back to the critic, right? Theodore Roosevelt quote, I read a few rules back, but um, samurai is not discouraged by unfavorable odds. Um, there's a lot to be said about this. I, I, I almost want to just stop there. Just say, hey, enough said. Um, I can tell you this, um, and I'll, I'll shoot a YouTube video about being a 10th degree black belt as well, but I'm a 10th degree black belt. What are the freaking odds? <laughs> uh, Matt Kelly, 52 years old, 10th degree black belt of a system I inherited from my grandmaster in karate. What are the friggin' odds? Um, um, if, if someone would have told me there's no way in hell you're going to be a 10th degree black belt, you know, you know, like uh, a millionth of a 100,000th blah, 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 percent of people in the planet Earth could ever be a 10th degree black belt in their lifetime. You are like, that's, that's harder than winning the lottery. You get struck by lightning seven times is more likely than becoming, or whatever the odds are, right? Um, someone could have told me that. And, and there's probably a part of me that's like, yeah, well, what are the chances? But uh, that did not dissuade me. And uh, it's something I wanted as a kid. Uh, I can tell you that. I, I did. Law of attraction is pretty powerful depending on how much attention and power you put behind it. But uh, I remember playing karate with my brother and I, and um, it, we would always, you know, my brother was always Batman, I was Robin. Um, you know, he was a black belt, I was a brown belt. And then I'm like, well, I'm a, bra I'm a black belt. And I would beat him to say it, and he goes, well, I'm a second degree black belt. I'm like, shit. And then we got to that game, right, where it's like, well, I'm a third degree black, you know, like it was whenever, whoever said it, you know, like when the rules were set, like one, two, three, not it, not it. Oh, shit. That was set, right? So that's kind of how we played. I'm Batman. Shh, I'm Robin. Uh, you know, I'm this, I'm that, you know. I'm a black belt. I'm a second degree black belt. Mm. So knowing that when we would play karate, we would do all these, you know, wah, wah, like, but he was always, he, he was always pretty wily in being the one that was upper, higher, you know. Um, and then I kind of caught on. It's like, well, if he said second degree black belt, and then I started learning about degrees. I'm like, well, I'm a third degree black belt. I'm a fourth. Like, crap. So, obviously, you can see where this is going. It got to the point where, like, we're building, building, building. And then he would just say, I'm a 10th degree black belt. I'm, a, I'm an 11th degree black belt. There isn't anything above 10th. So, you know, and then, of course, when we would play, I would always, even if I was a ninth degree black belt, because he outranked me in the way we were playing the rules, he would be able to win. And Anyway, but there was a kid in me that wanted to be a 10th degree black belt, you know, so I could never be beaten and bullied and all that other stuff. Um, pretty crazy how that manifested, just a little trip down memory lane for me, but uh, that's an unfavorable odd that uh, the odds would have were stacked against me to ever meet a person, meet my, my master who became a grandmaster of his own system he invented. He had three sons. He had his own biological son. He had two stepsons. Um, and then there's me, and I'm the one that inherited the system. So, I mean, even among those odds, uh, his sons, you know, that's... That's crazy, you know, as one in four that I would have been picked, you know, and then just to be, so it, it's, it's pretty crazy. But anyway, uh, the other thing is I fought uh, two on one and I happened to know enough what I was doing and how to fight that I, I got out of that situation. It was a bar fight. And then um, I fought five on one and uh, lived to tell the tale. And those are unfavorable odds. And I can tell you right now that um, I was not discouraged with entering the fray 
with two on one, and I was not discouraged entering the fray with five on one. Uh, and those were unfavorable odds. Um, I knew enough. I, I got lucky if they fought, you know, they didn't have knives or guns or anything like that. Um, hindsight 2020, I, I would do everything I could to avoid those probably now. Uh, back then, I didn't think I could. Um, but those were unfavorable odds. But I didn't enter those willingly with fear. Um, once it got to a certain level of escalation, I just embraced it and uh, went after it and took care of business with a ferocity. Um, and uh, they were unfavorable odds, but it worked out for me. So good stuff. I like 20. I like 20. What are the odds that you're going to be able to start your own business and not have to work for corporate America and uh, be able to have the most awesome life you can imagine as an entrepreneur, as an independent thinker? Mm. More common than it used to be. There are some odds stacked against you. What are the odds of this, vi this uh, video going viral? <laughs> not great. Right. But hey, I hope it reaches somebody. If it reaches one person, that's a good, that's a good outcome for me. One more to go. This is Samurai Life Rule number 20, 21 coming up. Booyah. Talk to you in a bit. See you next time.